Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews with special guest... Christina. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. People seem to like when you're on the show, so... (laughs) (gasps) Yay, I'm popular. All right, so this is a beer that we both saw at Total Wine the other day and we thought was really cool. Just We bought it for the label, really. Mm -hmm. All right, this is from Tox Brewing Company, not Toxic. Poltergeist, double dry hop, triple IPA, 10% ABV, and the label is, I don't know, it's supposed to be like... Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones or some wizard and sorcery thing with, with a frog. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you look out the window there, it's Starry Night by Van Gogh. So it doesn't say anything else about it on the can. So we'll pour it into our tulip glasses here. And you can see coming around that can, it looks like orange juice. <laughs> looks like total orange juice. It's, um, I don't know what color you'd call that. It's like a maize yellow. As you can see, it gets to a big foamy head. Christina poured half the, well, almost the whole can into my glass. So. I know, now I'm jealous. Yeah. Maybe I'll give you some later. How's it smell? Smells like orange juice. Oh, it smells fruity. Yeah. I'd say like orange oh. juice, kind Peach. of melony. Yeah. Peach, which is interesting. Really peachy. This um, is 10% ABV. Do you smell alcohol? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't either. This would just be straight up juice for like breakfast. I think it's got like kind of like a hint of like vanilla to it or mm-hmm. something, but Yeah. Um a little bit of mango. Yeah. Very tropical. Yes. Yeah. So there's not much else to say. It just smells like I mean it's a, it's a, that's how these hazies are supposed to be. They're supposed to be juicy, so I approve. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. First thing I noticed is that is thick. Yeah, <laughs> I think it tastes boozy. Um, yeah, I, to me it tastes strong. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a strong flavored beer. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, it, it's almost like it's not even like juice. It's like a milkshake. Like it has like that kind of like a. I mean, it's not like pulpy, like you know, pulpy orange juice, but it just has like a, a texture to it. Smoothie texture. Yeah. Um. I'm still getting the peach flavor. Yeah, I'm getting that too. Yeah, very peachy. I think kind of like honeydew. Mm-hmm. Some kind of melony kind of flavor. Yeah. Tropical fruits. Yeah, I feel know. like... Yeah, I feel like I should... I want to look up this brewery's website. All right, so we got Untapped because I couldn't find their website. So it says it's a Halloween beer. Digitox and Double Apparition. This triple IPA. Straw yellow. Um, and then it says... Galaxy, Citra, Nelson, Savant, and Mosaic hops. Yeah, Mosaic is very pineapple. These are all those stone fruit, tropical fruit uh, kind of hops. Doesn't say the IBUs, though. It's not like... It's not super bitter. How bitter would you describe this? Um, I mean, somewhere in the medium, probably. Yeah, usually it's like a 10 to 1, you know, IB ibu to abv thing so mm-hmm. you would think there's like 100 ibus but um yeah to me it seems it's solid it's pretty it's probably like 50 or 60 yeah so moderately or in the middle somewhere mm-hmm. um i also get almost like a tiny little bit almost like of citric acid like you know like you would get like an orange juice mm-hmm. yeah definitely I think that that might just be like kind of like the bitterness that I'm perceiving. Yeah. What are you looking for? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think of other things to say about it. Oh, you were looking at your glass like you saw something in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty tasty. I'm not usually a huge fan of, you know, hazies and like this is a triple hazy. I am. Um, uh, yeah, so I like it. I don't love it. Would you say you would love it or? I do love it. I'd say this is really good. I'm surprised because of the cool label. I thought it was going to be kind of crappy. Really? It's... Yeah, I don't know. That seems to be how it I goes. Be, I seem to like buy but... like all my beers based on a label lately. Yeah, and sometimes they're just kind of. Yeah. I don't know. They, yeah, they don't live up to the label. Certain breweries, yeah, but this one I think is solid. This is good. Yeah. It's like a good hazy. Now it's warming up. I'm getting like kind of a bit, a lot of sweetness on here. Yeah. It's just like just that that base malt, maybe a little bit of wheat in there. Mm-hmm. Um, I like like I said on the nose, like a slight kind of vanilla, but it's also 
it, instead of like being juicy, this is like the flavor of like juice concentrate or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Concentrate. I don't think I would call it refreshing because it is, it is pretty bitter. But yeah. Um. By the way, we didn't really mention. I mean, I said it's thick. I probably put the body at um, medium full to full. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it has like the same kind of thickness. It's like a really chewy imperial stout. Mm-hmm. Carbonation is probably about moderate, maybe moderately high. It's very, very smooth. I might even go as far as say creamy. I would say it's easy to drink. Yeah, especially considering it's 10% ABV. Mm-hmm. I do get a little bit of warmth in my throat now. Yeah. But yeah, it's otherwise, yeah. How much was I think this was, this is why I keep the receipt. Oh, this was eight forty nine at Total Wine. Damn. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I'd say that was that was worth it. So, as far as rating for the Tox Poltergeist, mm-hmm. um, I think I'm going to go four, maybe four and a quarter. What do you think? I'm going to do four and a half. Four and a half? Yeah, I like this one. I'd be willing to drink it again someday. Yeah. Well, you can run over Total Wine and grab one. Yeah, for 849 Definitely be saving this label, though. I think that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, amazing. Right. Well, that wraps it up this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Thanks to Christina for coming over, and we'll see you next for Tuesday Night Beer School. Cheers. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. 